Press it in your face, gotcha. in your man bun face, man. Hey, yo, I'm Bernice, and welcome back to some more Tell Me Why. We left off here with Tyler. We actually switched characters, and we're supposed to find Tessa. Tessa, Tessa, Tessa. Last time we talked to her, it didn't go so well. You see, now we have to knock on the door, because we're not on great terms right now. We antagonized her, actually. Oh, Tom. What's up, Tom? Tommy, boy. Where's your wife? Um, hello. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It hello. should have at least been enough to stall construction while we Tom? figure out our next move. Are well, you... why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Oh, hello, Allison. Well, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Tom! Hello. Hello, Tyler. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, uh, maybe, actually. Okay. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Um, how are we going to respond to this? Tessa reported Marianne. Why was Tessa... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask why. I'm going to ask why him. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? Before. She was looking for you two to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. Yeah. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay, why well, was Tessa at the station? Tessa reported Marianne. Yeah. Let's 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 talk Tessa to him about that. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But oh. I didn't get involved. Okay. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. Okay, that, how that about makes when we sense. The story yesterday I would do the same, yeah. Blank blank. That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay, that's all we can ask, so thank you, Tom. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Okay, we understand that, yeah. I guess that makes sense. We need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. Especially Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Okay. Thanks, Tom. Hey. Um, I don't know. I yes? don't know. I don't know what said to I should think remind about you that. not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, Hello, Michael. I totally yep, forgot about Michael. Yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. He's going to be moving in with um, so, Allison, kids, I believe. Was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your but, mother was close to a few men. But what, but Tom? Whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Huh. You got a call. You gonna answer but that? Look, I. Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I really have to go. The meeting and stuff. Yeah. We'll see you later, Tom. Bye. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Is yeah, sure thing, boss man. See you later. See you later. I don't know. I mean, we're kind Did of getting the story out, more and more of what actually happened. So, Why not? I don't know. We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why that don't you guys help me close bad. the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. 
Okay, what are we supposed to do now, though? Are we just gonna talk to Allison? Let's talk to Allison. She needs Where'd a little bit of pep talk. Father come from? I'm curious. I've just been thinking about who he might be, and if he knows yeah, why anything, did it come up actually? Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for immaculate conception. Hmm. Can we talk uh, to her? Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Um, you won't be alone. Let's have her back. Know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. Okay. That's my cue to leave then, Allison. Bye-bye. Now we gotta go help him to clean up the store or whatever. Where's the back door? Is it this one right here? Yep, it is. Michael? All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double-check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh, yeah? Hit me. Because you're just that good, huh? Yes. Um, I'm just, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult I'm him. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and, uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Hi, aye, Captain. Got tomato sauce. Where is the tomato sauce? Is this the tomato sauce? Um, tomato sauce. I wonder what's in that box. Okay. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison. Is that detergent? Is he? Is Tyler implying that she smells? Why am I standing here looking at this? I I don't know, Tyler. That's a very good question. <laughs> That's totally right. I'm looking for the tomato sauce, which is not over there. It's over here, actually. Moto bene. Here it is. I don't need any of Shoot, this. Shoot! I press the wrong Hold button. Hold on. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Bottles of bleach. On it. On it. Is this the bleach? This looks like detergent, though. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Okay, that is not the bleach. This is the bleach. I'm so stupid. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. I'm amazing at counting. Five bottles? See? You got cocky. How do you know I'm wrong? There's no way you can see him from over there. I told you I was over there earlier. Definitely more bottles than that. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. I think there are six. My bad. Uh, what's next? I didn't see the other this. bottle. That's my bad. That's my bad. That is my bad. That is totally my bad. What's next? I'm so confused. What's next? Hello? What's next? I don't know. Can I go talk to him? Because I'm kind of lost right now. What am I supposed to be looking for? Am I looking for anything? I guess I'm not looking What's for anything. I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Okay. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Okay. Nailed it, right? The bro uh, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. The Honestly, jacket, the, the it's clothes, hey, the, the hair, don't make the fun eyebrows, not... man. Oh. Maybe a little bit, but I like it. He's like the Her. new Picasso. Well, the new and improved Picasso. Good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Oh, that's okay. What are we- Alright, okay. right. anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Okay. What, what, what box? Are these the plushies? So... Oh my gosh. Okay, um... A little bit creepy that they sell this, not gonna lie, it looks like an old man. Imagine if a kid had this. What kind of a kid would want this, really? But, um, that's okay. We'll, we'll just count this right up. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? I'm guessing 11. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. I'm, yeah, I'm just Did guessing. Did I get it wrong? 
Michael? Hello? Ouch, what oh. the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> that is abuse, Michael. Oh my gosh, she's really doing some parkour Lesson there. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool? Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh shoot, how am I supposed to press it? In your face, Got in your you. man bun face, man. You literally... Get out of here, bro. Where'd he go? I'm so confused on where he went. Oh, there he is. Can I... I want to hit his face so bad. Right there. Damn, oh. overshot it. What? How is that even... Change oh, cover? Come on. Is that oh, all you've got, bro? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You just wait. I know, we're gonna threaten just him. Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah? We'll see. Our amazing strategy is to shoot you in your man bun face like so. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh One more God. hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. Oh <laughs> God, you're corny. Tyler really said, boom. So is okay. this a typical workday for Michael? you? Michael? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Michael, oh, I'm telling Allison. I'm going to tell Allison you said that. <sighs> She's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. <laughs> okay, Michael, stick your head out, bro. I'm literally right here. You're on the. Oh, uh oh, there he is. I'm getting you right there. You're you're dead. Boom. Well, not dead, but might as well be with my amazing skills. They're gonna. They're so good. They just. They make you wanna cry. Oh. <laughs> Headshot. Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. I don't think he okay. even hit us once. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real good. quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Yeah, nice. Duplex Julie. Oh, we got an achievement. Sharpshooter. Hell yeah, Is man. That the you muskrat? The mate you. Actually, I don't know. Kind of cute. Got kind of thick legs. Thunder thighs. <gasps> Guess we're gonna take it. It's ours now. Who was that in the photo? We got a mangy muskrat. That's so cool. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit. Oh. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father oh. Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's sit down and have a chat then, shall we? Let's talk about, I don't know, what are we gonna talk about? There's a photo there. Is this Michael? Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or not? Oh, but Eddie? Clan? Eddie? Yeah, what do you think of Eddie? Oh, actually, yeah, what's your, what's your clan? I'm interested Which in clan? that. Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm done. Sick. Now can we leave, please? I, I gotta guess. tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. You mean the OG Ronan? I was born first, you know? Is that so? That means so we're obviously superior. Was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Oh, that's so Fire sweet. Weed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. Aww. You're not too bad yourself. I mean, the man bun <laughs> bad yourself. gives him bonus points. Especially around guys I'm trying Obviously. to impress. Obviously. So. so I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. 
I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Okay, that sounds sweet. Fitting in. There's a concept. I don't know if Tyler, Tyler no really wants to though. Saving Maybe he does. A chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, I think he's really think thinking question? about it. Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Hmm. You're swell too. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. I don't know. Did you see that thing, though? The little bond between Allison and Tyler, it, like, separated. I'm so confused. Why? I don't know. Maybe Ty or maybe Allison doesn't want Tyler to be in a relationship with Michael. I don't know. I really like their bonding between Tyler and Michael. Here we are. Okay, she looks a little bit very sad. Because her, I'm pretty sure her mom's there. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm okay. Guess Tessa there they are. Tessa should be at her are. parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. Big crooked tree. Got I'm it. Go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Okay. Allison is very worried. Like, incredibly worried. You can visually see the worry, the worriness in her face. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after yeah. this, we can chill at the house, cool? All right, we just gotta find Tessa first. Um, I'm assuming the these little footprints here are Tessa's, and so we're just gonna need to follow them. So, you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Ah. People always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries. I don't know. Probably just a mirror in her own thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. Uh oh. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Oh, okay. I am. Thankfully. Wow, I guess she doesn't really want to see her, her mom at the cemetery. I don't know if even any of them have visited their mom. But um, we do have a memory here. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Oh? She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Yeah, it doesn't mean they like... I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know. What made her get the gun, you know? Like, that night that everything happened? Man, I don't know. Was she, like... Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. 
Let's check I'm around sure for her parents' her grave. grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered her? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so... Yes. Okay. Well, that's Michael over there. Oh, man. I don't know. It was, like... Was Mary... Mary Ann, was she, like, suicidal? Could... I mean, I don't know. Like, why yeah. would she ever have... Why does it sound familiar? Yazzie yeah, Trucking. He used to yeah, haul truck. lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Was she, like, suicidal? I don't know any other, like, logical reasoning for why she had the, the gun. That's the one. <sighs> don't tell me we missed her. Did we? Okay. That's the bird calling. We got Hello, an eagle. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time. Oh, another memory. Another. Another memory. That is gonna make us feel like crap. Um, where is it? Hold on. Where is this memory? Here it is. Right in front of us. You really have to go, Eddie? Fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Okay, this is obviously after the day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so where's her grave? Is what are one of these? Is this her? No, that's Salazar. That is not it. And it's got a snake on there. I don't think that's really Marianne's jam. Lost but it was obviously Hazel's. History. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Mm, Michael should know. Okay, where is her grave? Okay, we already checked this grave. Are we gonna go talk to Michael or are we gonna go look at Mary Ann's grave? Are we gonna go through this? No, we're not gonna go. Through that gate, we're gonna have to go th to Michael, I guess. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Naro's Branch Engine? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go through here because there have been like other footprints. You can see the past footprints. And I'm assuming this is where Marianne. No. This is where For Marianne was buried. I remember staring at the water during the funeral. The water. Allison. Oh, there's someone there. That's going. Tessa. Allison, come back! <sighs> And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Yeah, I'm interested to too. This looks interesting. Is this the totem here? That we're, um, yeah, this is it. Let's remember it. Interesting totem. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. Okay. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Um, are we gonna have to pick between their memories again? I don't know. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking uh, about it got me through the rest of the day. Okay, are we gonna have to choose again? But I'm Allison. gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come. Oh, I know. I. Tyler promised to return. Soon, all right? Promise.
promise. I don't know. Because I like I don't like choosing. I don't know why do they always every... fight about whose memory we'll is right? Our voice every day. Was it Allison that promised to visit or was it Tyler who promised to return? Let I'm gonna go with Allison. Because Allison was like we'll what, twelve? She would like she wouldn't I'll really have soon, had all right? promise. the the chance to actually go to Tyler. Uh, I'm 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 gonna choose Allison. Allison's right. memory. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Yeah, you see, and the, even Tyler was talking I'm sorry about like. It took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. No. <laughs> you see, they're bonding. This whole thing with the bonding thing, it's got me, like, all up in places. I don't even know what to do or say anymore. You could have seen her. Kendra? Hello? I thought this was oh. Tessa. Hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra, Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Aww. Um, okay, we, we just have... Actually, I'm curious, where is your accent from? Because I uh, noticed that right I away. I this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed oh. in Dallas about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well... I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. We came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina, and I... Just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, but we gotta get Sorry. going. I really don't wanna to interrupt. Don't apologize. It was nice talking to you. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Oh, thank you. I thought that was Tessa. I was very much wrong. Where where is Tessa? Is Tessa down there? Do I see a head? Yeah. Uh, she got kind of stranded out here. I know. What? 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 This... this is it. Right? Oh, I'm... I... I guess yeah. so. God, I, I think I need a second. Okay. I'm but gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. All good. Okay, what's Marianne... Marianne Ronan, right? I think... Oh, shoot! I got it first try! Holy crap, okay. July 8th to March 1st. Hold on, I think it's July... It's July 7th right now. Damn. Allison. There she is. Dude, that's heartbreaking. They haven't seen her in a long ass time. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? Broke. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Man. Oh, what the hell? She just appeared. Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe. Wow. Okay. 
What? Did you see? Did you hear that ominous music a little bit? Now they're mad at her. Oh yeah, they're hella mad. Look at Tyler. He's like... He looks like he's about to strike. Tessa, last time we talked, you were hella pissed at us. What are you now? Still mad? Or like, not? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Unless you're cremated. Or... Letting hers what just are fall different ways to die? I don't even know. Cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. Ooh. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In That's what end, Annie said, that she, she barely got by. Everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead okay, of running Tessa. around with married men, well... Come, come now, lady. How much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Okay, I don't want to say you destroyed our family. You could have done better. I'm just... I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Yeah. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I She's... know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. What does that mean? I for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Okay, wait, hold on. Thank you. Tessa, I know When the she last said of days have sometimes been we don't understand heated. God's like guidance, I thought she meant that she went sure off to the wrong path. Holy are. crap, that that's legit really like up to me. scared Tyler. me. Like um I'm done. Oh, okay. So we we have the choice to either forgive her or not forgiving forgiving her. I mean, uh, let's forgive her. She really was like sincere and she tried to to apologize she said she can't do anything else about it and she knows that she could have done better and she acknowledges that now so i think we should apologize or we should accept her apology people. and if we can't let people grow then what the hell kind of chance do we have thank you both of you kids i never knew your mother's whole story but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Okay. There gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. Coconut I'll cake? See you two tomorrow, oh then. my god, we'll be there. coconut cake is so good. Come on. <gasps> coconut cake. Coconut cake. 1964 to 2005. Holy crap. 
Rest in oh, peace. Huh? <laughs> oh my yeah, god. I had pretty much given up on her. You got the but achievement. Rest in peace. sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I mean, she probably feels the same. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? Alright, let's sit. You sit first, I'll sit right next to you, shall we? Alright. Let's sit. Um, Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Yeah. Thanks for coming with me. I'm not going to say our reunion Listen, hasn't gone as planned. I know this has been hard. Gotta make the best of the I'm situation. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... Wow, okay, wait, so they I do stole know. your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Yeah, stop putting yourself down. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree, and your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. No. But <laughs> we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. That bonding so, though. I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. I guess so, but there's gotta be more to it, man. That just... Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. I mean, maybe it is the story. Maybe that's the I truth. Think Tessa, or Eddie. I and when guess she heard so. social services was coming, she, she gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. still feels like there's something missing, right? Yeah. Something. Like, probably like some, something really big. Like, uh, I don't know. The freaking Manhunter or something. You're I don't never know. gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. I guess that's it then. Is that it? It's probably always gonna feel that way. Okay, that is not it. You hear, you hear, do you hear that piano? That piano music? Oh my gosh, I don't know. That, is that it? There's like a whole other chapter. How is that gonna be it? We're gonna discover something like incredible here. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit I the couch. I don't even know, I don't even you know. better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Oh, not <sighs> cleaning. Do we have to? Hey. Whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh my god. Shit. Allison. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, Holy fire crap. Okay. How did that happen? A fire is caused somehow, right? Holy crap. Who? Who are you? Who the hell? Uh-uh. Who the oh. hell? No, no, no. You cannot do that to Tyler, me right are now. You all right? Uh, that was Stay there. I got it. Are you kidding me? This is the missing piece. Was that Sam? 
I don't know, maybe Sam's I don't know, Sam? Sam, I don't know, they don't have the same physical appearance, appearance though. Who? Oh my gosh. What the heck? What happened? There, there was a, a guy. He, he smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? If we knew. I'm not sure. If only we knew, I right? I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? That's the same question I'm asking myself. I don't know. They but took something. I'm going to find out. What did that dude take? Huh. At least I you were spared. Oh, was that a little goblin? The moon hag. Sick. Okay. Um, what did you find, Allison? I'm really hoping you got like. Yeah, I saw that, but is that um. A box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside. We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Okay, let's get a Where frickin- Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Allison? Tyler was gonna build a toolbox. Actually, it's kinda gone now. But Tyler was gonna build a toolbox. I'm pretty sure he knows where everything is, right? Let's hope so. Oh, uh oh, I found the crowbar. Okay, now we, we can go- we the hole. Yeah, there we go. We gotta remove it. What is that gonna be? Is it gonna be like a gun? Another gun? Or like... Come on. Step back. I'll be fine. A second later it hits her in the face? <laughs> that would not be great. Crowbars are very, very hard. They will definitely break a nose and then you'll have to get surgery for it. Well... Um, I only know one person who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Okay. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Uh-oh, I don't know. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. So, unlock it? What do we- I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. Preferably without destroying the box. Okay, the Book of Goblins? What are we gonna need this for? What? 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 What story are we gonna use? I'm so confused. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the same symbol. The Secret Keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Okay, wait. Here? Where? Where? Where's the symbol? I don't even know. Where's the number? Can we find any numbers? Um, let's look at the pages. Oh, there's three. There's zero. I don't know what else. What, are there any other numbers? I don't know. We we know for sure the second number is one. Third number is three. Fourth number is zero. Is this is the first number two because there are two goblins? Oh shoot! There are only three I think numbers. We just need to break. Okay, yeah, there are only three numbers. So one, three, zero. The lock. There must be something. Yeah, there we, we go. Can use to get it open. Oh, shoot. One, three, zero. Did it. There we go. Oh, okay. Now what is in this box that looks like it was part of a cult? Um, is there nothing in it? Okay, there- Why do you need to have a whole ass box for these small I ass things? I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Okay. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dallas Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. It should feel like you're doing 130, but I guess. Um, I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to see- have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Is that... the father? I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Yeah, that's definitely... Fuck. The dad, that's right? Rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel this, you'd make a great mother. This guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. I know you'd make Even a great she mother. To keep us. What an ass! I mean, like if she wants to keep the baby, let her have the baby. If she doesn't, she doesn't. It's that simple. But like, come on now. She wanted, she wanted kids. What a tar horrible like partner. Honestly, I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. Someday. That's okay. 
But right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you'll, you need. But like, that's it? That is it. That's what the person wanted? That's everything. What the hell? What does that even so, mean? Marianne hid a box under the barn. Yep. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Um, yeah, he came for these letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Okay. Where where have, where have we seen him before? There's gonna be like a memory, isn't there? There is. Are we gonna remember? We are. Okay, so this is... Oh shoot, this is the day everything happened. Why are we seeing this? I don't, I don't know. know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. Okay. You know what happens down there? That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Oh shoot. All right. I guess we're gonna see what happens. We're obviously saying these for a reason. Pretty sure. Kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots. Dude, is it Sam? Is it dude? Is is the? This is where I tripped. Is, is it Sam? I don't know. Oh my gosh, is where Tyler tripped. The Mad Hunter. Mad Hunter. There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? So was the Mad Hunter not even there at all? Is the Mad Hunter, like, actually just, like, not real? And was yeah. it a representation of someone forth. else? No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. Yeah, who exactly did we see? Hello? Okay, looks Mad like Hunter. it. Is that a knife? No, that, that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad okay. Hunter in the woods. Allison is so mad she just, just went off. Some asshole, okay. <laughs> some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? I don't know, where is that coming from? It's coming from, I don't know, is it coming from down here? I can see something over here. Hold on, what is that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. He jumped into the gully. All right, what hey, about up there? Are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Yeah, definitely. Okay, hold on. Where is this memory? I'm so confused where this memory is. I oh, it's over here. Okay, no wonder it was so far away. Okay, let's let's just get to it then. Cause holy crap. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Okay, I'm not gonna say 
Because I did something for you, you have to do something for me. I'm just gonna say just one more time. I'm gonna, like... Just one more time. Just asking Please, her nicely. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. What? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do what it. What the heck? Let's go. Oh my gosh, okay. That was... He really just said, even after your part in Marianne's death. Holy crap, bro. But what did he mean that was, but it wasn't? They can't. Why can't they do it? Okay. Here we go. Why was it so hard to do it? Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. I don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Who was that? Okay, I guess we're going over here now. Oh, shoot. I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. Okay, bro, she really does not want right. to. But she's trying. Holy crap, okay, we're right here inside this memory. I don't even know anymore, because like, we're, we can't even get our memories straight anymore. Does that mean they're like not as connected as they used to be, or...? Ooh, are you gonna do- They barely made it. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. We were so damn close. Dude, she already tried hard enough. So, Marianne asked for the dad's help. He obviously didn't give it. I feel like she's gonna pass out or something. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. Holy crap. She really can't. She's just like emotionally drained from all of this, from everything that she's finding out. I mean, it's all coming very quickly to the both of them. Tyler just wants to pursue that. Oh, shoot. We're going to find something else out. Ouch. Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Oh, wow. Hear what We're saying? getting the story. Quiet. Though. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I don't get desperate. You can help us out. Lend me some money. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. She's a shotgun! I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! How 
Allison. Oh, wait. Hold up. What does this mean now? Because we've heard her say that before, but I feel like... I'm so confused now. What does that even mean? Man, of course it has to end there. I don't even know what that means, though. What does that even mean? I don't know. Okay, so I, I'm, I don't know if I'm like, I'm, I'm losing brain cells, man. I don't remember, but I, I very, I'm pretty sure I remember her saying that to either Allison or Tyler. And I think Tyler heard her say that, I don't know. It was one or the other where we heard, or the kids heard Marianne saying, I'm going to kill you to the kids. But she wasn't actually saying it to them. She was saying it to the... She was telling it to the dad. The biological dad. So that kind of does explain why she had the shotgun. I don't know. What does that even explain, though? We know Marianne was upset even more because of that. Because of the encounter with the biological father. How is the father going to play a part in this now? I know... I'm pretty sure the Mad Hunter isn't a real thing. They just imagined that. And that's why Tyler imagined Mad Hunter that day and it was actually his biological father. But like, what other, what, how else are they involved? You know, I, I'm very confused about that. I'm very, I'm really hoping chapter three will solve like all of my problems. I don't know, for now, we're just gonna take a look at this. Let's see, Tyler felt relieved even when Allison chose his memory at the house. I don't remember this to be honest. But 58% chose Tyler's memory. Tyler didn't feel heard about needing time when Allison accepted the house. 34% accepted the appointment. The, the house appointment, it wasn't really, it wasn't setting anything in stone. I don't like how Tyler, he didn't feel hurt. I mean, I can understand that. It, it was, nothing was set in stone. I don't know. 81% forgave Eddie. Yes, Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. 81% forgave Tessa. Okay, I mean, not many moments where they did not feel, like, awful. But, like, I don't know, in this moment when we accepted um, Michael's compliment, the little thing, it, like, went apart for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. But let's just, I guess that's it. Are we gonna get, like, another sneak peek into the other? Yes, we are. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. There's something else. I'm finding out the truth. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Oh? Okay. Let's go. Okay. So there's gonna be something new. Okay. I see. I see, I see. Hmm. I don't know. I I am very much. I don't know how I'm, I'm 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 receiving this information all at once, and I'm like, how does it? I'm trying to put the pieces together, and that's very difficult to do when you don't know what's actually happening. This episode also, or this chapter also, like the other chapter, left us with a lot of questions. <laughs> but I think the biggest one is who the hell is their dad? I, I mean, I thought Sam, but I, like I said before, the physical appearance isn't the same, and I mean, the voice isn't the same. I don't know, man. It could, it really could be anyone. It could be someone they know, it could be someone they don't know, it could be a guy Marianne met on, like, Craigslist or something. I, I really hope it's not someone on Craigslist. And we obviously do know that the Mad Hunter isn't really real, um, at least in their, it was only real in their imagination, they were kids. Um, and Tyler imagined the Mad Hunter because he didn't know how to- Maybe his brain didn't know how to cope with seeing someone there with the whole Marianne thing. I don't know. Maybe that was his, his brain coping with that, his coping mechanism. Let me try to get this right. Marianne was upset 
in the beginning because Tessa reported her to the authorities. Eddie came and he apolog- or he told her personally because he didn't want her to freak out immediately at- while they were taking her kids away. And that's why she went out full rage mode at him and got upset with him because she knew their social services was gonna take away her kids. We also do know Tessa is okay with, with Tyler being trans, which is great. I initially thought she wasn't, but she is. So that's great news for Tyler and for everyone else. We know that the day that everything happened, it really wasn't Marianne upset with her kids. And I personally do not think she was upset or like mad about everything and that she felt like she had gone through so much that she felt the need to get rid of that pain. I do not think she wanted to take her own life because she loved her kids. If she would have taken her own life, she would not have taken her kid's life. I highly doubt it. From what I've seen, she would not have, she wouldn't have like take, taken it out on her kids. She loved them very much. I, I'm like 80% sure of that. She very much, she, like she really liked Allison and Tyler, not liked, love them. So there's definitely more to the story. Um, we're obviously seeing more things like the biological father of Tyler and Allison, but we're just gonna have to see how that plays out in chapter three. So if you enjoyed this as much as I did, give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell to get more notifications from me to get more content like this. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below, express your thoughts and feelings on how you think the story is gonna play out. But anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. So bye-bye. Oh my God. Shit, Allison. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, fire Holy crap. Okay. How did that happen? A fire is called somehow, right? Holy crap.